Hello, I'm Joy and today I'm going to show you how you can create some beautiful drawings and paintings. Now we're not going to need very many things today. I've got um, a pencil and a black marker and some coloured markers. That's what I'm going to use today. Um, but you can use some paints if you like and I've also obviously got some paper. <laughs> So without further ado, let's get started and um, enjoy being creative. So to begin with, what we're looking at is how do we make a painting? How do we make a drawing? Well, if we take our, our pen, I'm going to use a black marker because you're going to be able to see this better. You know that every uh, drawing that you make begins with a dot. <laughs> You know, from that dot, you can draw all kinds of lines and circles and everything else, but everything starts from a dot. So you could just fill your page with lots of dots to start with. And then using a line, you could join the dots up together and see what patterns that you make. You can go all over the place and you can take your time doing the dots and you'll get all kinds of interesting shapes. So let's begin because we can have that as a little game to start with. And once we've, you've had a little play with that and you can do all kinds of squiggly wigglies of joining up those dots together. And we'll come back to this in a minute. Let's start, go to that big dot and join that to there. So we've got <laughs> a funny little abstract drawing, which we could turn into lots of things. So. Our drawing always starts with a dot, which starts with a line. That's where we begin. Then we have three particular shapes. So do you know what these are? Well, I'm going to tell you. One is a circle. One is a square. And the other is a triangle. Now, we can turn those into all different kinds of things. A circle could become a cylinder. So it could come round like this. A square could become a rectangle. And a triangle could do all kinds of different things. It can be mountains, it can be uh, shapes of buildings, all kinds of interesting things. So the first little thing I want you to do, I'm just, by the way, using print paper here. So you can use whatever paper, even if it was newspaper, it doesn't matter. Um, you can use any kind of paper that you like. On, on the first piece of paper here, I just want you to draw as many circles as you can. So we can go little circles to big circles, to little circles to big circles. Now, one of the important things about doing this exercise is not to take your pencil off the paper. Now, if you notice, I'm using my whole arm. I'm not using just my wrist here because that would make it very small and restricted. So we want to make it really big and do lots of circles with our arm as if, as, as if our pen or our pencil was another finger or an extension of our finger. Okay, so lots and lots of circles. And just have a, a lot of fun with it. OK, you could change colour with it, too, if you like. If you wanted to, you could let's go for this orange. You could do some in orange as well. Or any other colour that you liked. I just want you to play doing circles. OK, nice big ones, nice little ones. So that will be your first lovely drawing. OK, so the second drawing of this Yes, you've guessed it, it's going to be a square. So let's do everything on this page in a square. Now, using your arm, so your arm is, is coming all the way through. Your pen is going to be like um, moving from your arm. So we can do big squares like this. Okay, all squares. You can do little ones and you can do big ones. I want you to cover all the page so you notice we're not doing any circles, no curves here at all, just squares. 
okay so you can spend a bit of time doing that one <coughs> excuse me now the next one is going to be what it's going to be triangles so let's have a go with triangles so they can be really big or they can be really small but just keep them going as triangles it's kind of quite interesting how that works just we're not doing any circles we're not doing any squares only triangles okay so you can do as many of those as you like so we've had a really nice play with those three now what we're going to do is we're going to make a drawing using all those shapes so circles squares and triangles again keeping your pen on the paper i don't want you to do use your wrists i don't want you to go all neat and tidy you want to be free and big and enjoy it so let's go let's do a free drawing of using circles and squares and triangles and let's see what happens there you go so we've got a really nice abstract drawing there haven't we can you see that so we've used our circles we've used our squares and we've used our triangles and that's what drawing is all about whatever we might do we're going to use those shapes okay so now let's have a bit of fun with this with painting it so we can go let's go back to the to the um circle one okay let's put those aside for a minute and then you can decide whatever you'd like to do with colors on this okay so i'm going to just get some markers for the time being and what i might do is just color some of the circles in here's a blue okay and let's go for a red here let's see what we could do with the red let's put some red in here yeah that's a nice red one here and then you can change it and you could turn this into all kinds of interesting things we could make some funny faces out of it if we wanted to here's a funny face i'm just covering in those circles Look at that, I'm going to turn it round so you can see it. So see how many things that you can make out of all those wonderful circles that you just drew. Fill it in as much as possible. Let's do, let's see if I can find a few more, a few more faces. Here's a funny one I've got. Here's one, here's an eye, here's a nose, and here is a of the lips. Can you see that one? <laughs> So I want you to have really good fun. Let's do one upside down here. Here's some eyes here. And here's a big smile. And actually with this one, we could even give it some curly hair going over here. Look at that. <laughs> so I want you to see how many different things you can find in your lovely drawing of circles. So spend a little bit of time on that. And then you can come back to doing, let's do the next one on the squares. Let's find where I did the squares. Here it is. Okay. So this is going to be slightly different. Let's see what we could do with the squares. Well, um, I can have a look here. I could make a house out of this one. Look at that with a chimney. And then I can put a window in here. I could add an extra square and put a door in there. You see that one? There's a nice little house. I could put some shutters on the window. There we go. <laughs> and then let's carry on. You see how many different things that you can make out from those squares. You might make, um, here's one, here's a nice box. Okay, and there's a box attached to it. And then let's do a different color. Let's find another color to do let's do a blue here and we can put another box in here okay and here we might join that one up to that one let's see what might happen with that so lots of fun here ah i've got something here now 
Okay, now I'm going to turn that round to you. So this could be a really modern house. We could put another square in here. We could put a square in here and a little one up here and one here. And we could do this one. Now that looks like a very modern house to me with lots of windows. Let's do a long one here. Okay, and let's do another one here. That's a window. So I want you to have fun with that. And then what you might do once you've done that is, uh, let's find a green here. Let's then color some of that in. So we might have some green in this one, green in that one. And we might come over here and just fill all this in in green. That could be the garden of that house that we've just done. See how easy it is? just from your squares. So you can have some fun filling in all those and seeing what you come up with. And then when you've done that, let's now go to, um, let's go to the uh, um, triangles. So what can we do with these triangles? Let's have a think. I'm going to turn mine around and see. Um, oh, I've got lots of funny things coming up here. Um, we could have some mountains up here. Let's do these mountains in green. And we could have some smaller mountains behind. And then we could have some land here. And another mountain here. And we could fill that one in here. And we could have another one here. And another one here. Or... I could make this into a tent. So let's have a see what we could do with that. Let's use the red for that. So I'm going to give us a stripy tent here. I just want you to play and have some fun. What you can do with your free drawing of all these interesting shapes. Okay, so you can carry on and do lots of different kinds of things with those shapes. Okay, now then let's come to our drawing where we put everything together. Now we can do lots of different things with this and we can use our total imagination. So when we look at our shape, I'm going to turn mine around, I'm going to see lots of different things in here. I can see this as a head, so I'm going to put an eye in here. There we go. And a nice big eye and I'm going to give her some lips here. And what's she doing? I think she's reading a book, so I'm going to put some lines in here. And I'm going to put some writing in the book. So you can see what we can do here. Lots of fun things that you can get out of these shapes. And now I'm going to stay with the blue. Maybe she's got a blue top on. Let's fill that in here and fill this in here and she's holding this book. Okay, and just enjoy and relax. Just have some fun filling in the shapes. And then I'm going to show you exactly who this painting reminds me of and I'm sure yours might remind you of that too. I'm going to do some stripes up here and let's have a look. Let's put some um, orange in now. I'm going to put some orange circles in here, up here. All right, what else could I do? I could put some orange down here, I like that. Yeah, and I'm going to put an orange side to this book here. So you can make up your own story. This is a story of this funny person, looks like somebody from Mars, coming down and reading one of our books. And uh, let's see what we can do with her now. Uh, what colour? I'm going to use some pink here. I'm going to give her some pink hair. Uh, let's go to the other side of that. It's a bit softer. So she's going to have pink hair here. Okay, and she's got P 
pink leggings on. <laughs> so I'm going to come down here and fill that in. So you can see all the funny different things that you can do. Now, let's have a look what we can do with this one. Let's put some yellow in here. I'm going to put some Dago yellow up here and down here. That's so nice and bright. And let's put some in here. Okay, so lovely, lovely, lovely. You can make up your own super little painting, abstract painting, just from your free drawing. Let me turn that round and then you can have a look at it. So we've had a great time today. Let's just do a quick recap. Um, we did the joining up of the dots, um, a great thing to do, and uh, you never know what will happen when you do those. And then uh, we did the, the, the shapes, remembering everything starts with the dot and then the line and then our, our main shapes of our squares, circles and triangles. And uh, look at the circles. I'd love to see what you've done with your circles. And this is what I did with my fun ones. And then we did the uh, squares uh, and then the triangles. And then we finished with the uh, lovely free drawing. And that's where it will all come to, you know, to be free drawing and doing some lovely abstract paintings. So next time I'll be um, showing you a new project that you can all enjoy, all the family. So see you then and take care. Bye for now.